Hello there! Today we're going to reveal how we cracked Andrew Tate's social media strategy. Please take notes if you'd like. So, Andrew Tate is a person who stirs strong feelings all around the world. People either really dislike him or really love him. Even though we don't follow his content or agree with everything he says, it's clearly that he's really good at getting noticed. No matter if he's talking about becoming a Muslim, showing off his money, arguing on the internet with a young climate activist, or enjoying some pizza in Romania, he always manages to stay in the news. Now, take a moment to put aside whether you agree or disagree with him and think about the situation fairly. Andrew Tate is a very clever marketing expert, so while you're watching this video, keep in mind of that. On the other side, we'll hold back the things you shouldn't learn from him, but no matter how you feel about him, there are a lot of things you can learn from Andrew Tate. Number 1. Being important matters. Here's one thing Andrew Tate has got right, and that is, being important matters. The simplest way to show where you stand in the world or where you want others to see you is to get things that show you're important. Let us give you an example. Why do you think bankers care so much about watches? Well, people pay more attention to those who seem to be rich or important. People also often agree with the ideas and thoughts of those who seem important. This happens because of something called authority bias. Authority bias is when we think that someone important is more likely to be right. The more we trust his thoughts, the more likely others will be influenced by his ideas and think they are right. Andrew Tate has definitely made himself out to be a big deal in the world of toxic masculinity, even though he doesn't agree with the term. On top of that, his showy displays of wealth helps make people believe he knows of what he's talking about. If he's done so well for himself, he must be right. But let's slow down for a second. We talk about influence. What we're trying to say is that his importance plays a big part in why he gets so much attention. There's no doubt he says a lot of shocking things that get people talking. But if he wasn't known, would people listen? We don't think so. It's probably why people say Kanye West is hostile instead of mentally ill. By the way, we're not trying to defend him. Racism is terrible. We're just trying to show that people treat you differently when you're unknown. We can ignore unknown people. Andrew Tate's important has made him someone people notice. That's why it's risky to ignore him. The fact that he can show off his Bugatti, knowing that most people don't drive, own or even have access to one, gives him an advantage. So are we saying you should spend all your money on fancy stuff? Not really. We're saying you should go and achieve some things. Show that you can make a lot of money from e-commerce, for example, before you tell others how to make their online store better for getting leads. So, being important can give you a lot of social power, just ask Elon Musk. People are more likely to listen to you when you're proven yourself. Ignoring importance often results in having little influence on the world. If you're okay with that, then fine. Moving on to number 2. Messages made on purpose. You don't have to be a genius to understand who Andrew Tate is targeting, it's clearly young men. His whole attitude is designed to exploit a key part of growing up. Teen rebellion. Let's be honest, it's going to take more than fancy cars, strong muscles and a bunch of bold statements to convince people like you and me to follow someone like Andrew Tate. But for a young guy in their teenage years, he seems like a dream come true. Tate presents himself as having everything a young man might want. Money, power, respect and the list goes on. If your parents don't have the same qualities, it's pretty easy to be drawn to someone like Andrew Tate. That's the main point. We're not telling you to manipulate young minds, we're telling you to ask yourself, what do I have that people want and who are the people that want it? The third point is that making people argue is a way to sell things. Once again, we can all agree that Andrew Tate stirs up strong feelings. That's why he keeps getting noticed, even though some of the biggest social media platforms in the Western world have banned him. So this is how we cracked his strategy, which is quite easy. You find a topic that causes engagement, then you get to know both sides of the argument, you choose the side that your target audience agrees with, and then finally you share opinions that will trigger the other side, but will be well received by your target audience. It's that easy. Even Elon Musk is very good at this. So, with other words, causing disagreements gets people involved, 
When people get involved, you reach more people. And the more people you reach, the more people get involved. It's actually a never-ending cycle. The fourth point is that easy things can make a big difference. Andrew Tate says he has many other businesses, and he might. He's even said before that he had a webcam business with over 60 women working for him, which he doesn't run anymore. But neither this business nor his career as a kickboxer is what made him famous. It was his internet business. Do you want to know Andrew Tate's biggest product that got worldwide attention? It's a pay-to-join group called Hustlers University. We don't want to put down people who create groups and classes when we say this. But it's not a brand new idea. Lots of people have done it before and it's a business model that works really fine. But here's our point. If the way to solve your audience's problem is a class, then that's good enough. So the final point is make your audience spread the word about your brand. The main goal of Tate's Hustlers University group is to teach people how to make money online. A student who's been in the class for over six months says the following. They are teaching a lot of ways to make money nowadays. One of the ways to make money that the class teaches is the chance to sell Andrew Tate's best product himself. Yes, you heard it right. Members of the group get paid to share clips and videos of Andrew Tate on different social media sites like TikTok. Whenever the students made extra money, Tate got more attention without having to do anything. You don't have to pay your customers to do the same for you. The trick is to match what your customers want, give them content they connect with and they'll do the work for you. So at the end of the day, it would be a stretch to say we hate Andrew Tate. We don't hate anyone. We also don't really agree with his ideas on many things, but we realize it would be silly of us to overlook the big changes he's made in the last three years or so. Even if you don't agree with him, there's something to learn if you can ignore what he's saying. We certainly hope you can. So what video to watch next? Related to this video, you likely heard the terms alpha male and sigma male thrown around quite often. Some people swear by them, while others not so much. But have you ever really stopped to think about these labels? Are they helpful? Or more importantly, are they accurate? We got you covered in this video, so go check this out.